Hello friends! In this video, I am talking to you about the big project of Kamal Khan Dam, the biggest water highways of Afghanistan and big canals in Nimroz province on the border of Afghanistan and Iran. Kamal Khan Dam is one of the important dam construction projects in Afghanistan, which is located on the Helmand River. This dam was built 18 kilometers from Chahar Barjak district and 95 kilometers south of Zaranj city, the capital of Nimroz province, above the Helmand Sea, for the purpose of controlling monsoon floods, irrigating agricultural lands and producing electricity. A common lake flows between Afghanistan and Iran. The construction of Kamal Khan Dam started in 1966 after the Taurus Revolution with the participation of the United States International Development Agency. But with the departure of American citizens from Afghanistan, the construction of the dam was not completed and the project was abandoned. The construction of the dam started again in 2011 and was completed in several stages. The third stage of the construction of the dam was opened in 2017 and the last stage in 2021 by the former president of Afghanistan, Mohammad Ashraf Ghani. This dam was built with a budget of $78 million from the development budget of the Afghan government. According to the former Minister of Energy and Water of Afghanistan, this dam can irrigate more than 175,000 hectares of agricultural land and generate more than 9 megawatts of electricity, thus providing the basis for many jobs. Kamal Khan Dam is mostly located in the plain area, so it has a slight slope. The height of this dam is 16 meters, and its water storage capacity is 52 million cubic meters. Iran has repeatedly criticized the construction of this dam and stated that the construction of this dam will reduce water resources and drought in the border areas of Iran. Kamal Khan Dam, located in Nimroz province, supplies the water needed by the farmers of this province during the dry season. The Helmand River is the water highway of Afghanistan, which includes 40% of the country's surface water. This river flows from Nimroz province to Iran. Kamal Khan Dam has several irrigation canals. These canals are called Dasht Tarko and Kala Afzal, with an irrigation capacity of 49500 hectares. Kalafath Canal and Hostel, with irrigation capacity of 38,000 hectares, Shirabad and Amiran, with irrigation capacity of 60,000 hectares, and Canal 6 Sarba has a capacity of 26500 hectares. There are two major rivers in Nimroz province, which are Helman Sea and Kashrud Sea. Helman Sea, from Helman province. It flows to the south of Nimroz province in Shahar Barjak district, which later continues along the common border of Afghanistan and Iran. Of course, the Islamic country of Iran benefits from the Helmand Sea through canals. Kamal Khan Dam, which is built above the Helmand Sea, it is located in Nimroz province. Kashrud River originates from Gore province and after passing through Farah province, it enters Kashrud district. The underground waters of Nimroz province are mostly salty, except for the seas of Helmand and Kashrud, and some major canals up to when there is water in the channel. The underground water of Zaranj city is salty, and for the use of subsistence water from the Fada castle, through a pipeline. The network has been extended, and according to the information of the governor of Zaranj province, up to 70% of the water shortage problem of the citizens of Zaranj has been solved. But the opinion? Due to the poor taste of water in the water supply network, some residents of Zaranj buy their drinking water from tankers. The underground water of Chagansur district is mostly salty and cannot be used for subsistence and agriculture. People of the district of problems, they have drinking water. When there is water flowing in the Kashrud Sea, the wells near the sea have fresh water. And then, the water in the wells becomes salty again due to the drying up of the said sea. The construction of Kamal Khan Dam has tremendous effects on water resources, environment, agriculture, and the economy of the local people is. In Nimroz province, the rainfall is about 70 mm, but evaporation and transpiration in this province is several times higher. It is pretended that the rainfall and nutrition groundwater does not contribute. In this sense, surface water is the only source that feeds the underground water of Nimroz province to do groundwater 
generally has a salty taste in Nimroz province and only in areas that are near seas and rivers. The taste of its water is sweet. With the construction and dewatering of Kamal Khan Dam, the underground water is fed more, and its quality is also improved. Because the water is stored in the form, it is transferred to agricultural lands through canals, which canals feed underground water on their way, and the process of dilution of underground water is done when the salinity of the underground water is reduced and it is used for drinking and agriculture irrigation is being prepared. The Helmand Sea is one of the important, big, and watery seas of the country, which has its branches in the vast areas of the southwest of the country. This sea originates from the heights of 3,800 meters on the western slopes of Pagman, Besud, Punjab, and Daikandi Mountains. The Helmand Sea has a total area of 262,341 square kilometers, of which 40. It is the percentage of the total area of the country. Its average annual water capacity reaches 8.4 billion cubic meters. That's 17. It contains the percentage of the total annual water capacity of the country, while the average annual capacity of this water area is 10.4 billion cubic meters, the reduction of which was due to the effects of climate change. Afghanistan is one of the developing countries with significant water resources, and its water resources are usually supplied through seasonal rains, and in the high mountainous areas, it usually falls in the form of snow and forms snow and mountain reserves. And upon arrival, in the spring and the weather gets warmer, these reserves melt and flow in the rivers. For its development, Afghanistan needs water management for the farmers of Nimroz province who are suffering from drought. Considering its need for water, this country adheres to the 1972 treaty signed between Musa, Afghanistan's Prime Minister Shafiq, and Iran's then Prime Minister Amir Abbas Hawada in its foreign policy regarding water. Based on this, the Joint Committee of Hirmand Water Commissioners was established between Iran and Afghanistan, and the two countries are cooperating in this regard. According to current reports, the amount of water that goes to Iran is several times the amount that is predicted in the 1972 treaty. That is, according to the Herman Treaty of 1972, Iran's entitlement is 22 cubic meters per second, plus 4 cubic meters of goodwill and neighborly relations, which is a total of 26 cubic meters per second and 820 million cubic meters per year. Thank you for watching.